Lay the chain out evenly on the ground, checking for any twist. In this case, the twist is identified by a twisted cross chain hook and a rise in the side chain. Untangle the chain. Tangles are caused during the handling of the chain when they come out of a bag or a box. Center the tractor on the chain and position the chain evenly over the tread. Hook the inner side chain as tight as possible with the C-hook fastener. Hook the outer side chain with the fold-over locking plate and lock it in place. In this case, you'll notice that the chain is too large and this is caused by different tire manufacturers, the tread depth, and the crown of the tire. Remove the excess cross chain from the tail end of the chain. You can use simple hardware tools or in this case we're showing our extra large tire chain repair plier. Reconnect the center, the inner side chain with the C-hook fastener and the outer side chain with the fold over locking plate. Get it as tight as possible, lock it in place. Now you'll notice that there's a gap where we removed one of the cross chains. To get it tight, position one of those cross chains in that gap and tighten it down. We recommend a tensioner. Tensioners are important, especially with heavy chains like this, because of centrifugal force as the tire is moving, it tends to throw the chain off the tire. It's the throwing off and the beating of the chain against the surface that destroys the chain, not actually driving on it. We're showing here our optional tractor grader heavy duty spring tensioner being installed with a load binder. The load binder simplifies the installation because it enables the spring to be stretched